Hey everybody, Daryl here, and today we're going to talk about how to build a church communications request form. The communications request form is the central part of your communications workflow for your communications team. It's how everything comes into your system uh, so you can figure out what you're supposed to do and who you're supposed to do it for. So today I'm going to show you how to build one, but not only how to build one, but build one and automate it to go directly into your project management system. So somebody puts in a request and it goes all the way from the request all the way into your system. To do that, we're going to use three tools. One is going to be Google Forms, so you'll need a Google account. Zapier, Z-A-P-I-E-R, I'll put a link below for that, and that's going to automate the process. And then your project management system of your choice. Today we're going to use Asana, that's A-S-A-N-A, -S -S -A -A, Asana. And I'm going to use all three of these. I want to use the free version of all three, all three of the uh, systems. So none of none of this will actually cost you anything so we'll use the, the free version of all three of these things and so over the computer here in a second i'm going to show you how to build those put them all together so your workflow automates from the communications request form all the way to the project management system using google zapier and asana and again i'm using the free version of all three of these so you can do this all for zero dollars all right let's check it out all right as i said before you're going to need to have three tools up and running to begin this project one your Google account, two, an Asana account, or your project manager of choice, whatever that is, Basecamp, whatever that, whatever you're currently using, and then Zapier. All three of these that I'm using are all, I'm all using the free version of all three of these. So nothing I'm using for using this for is paid. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to set up your communications request form. So the way we do that is we're gonna to go to and inside of our Google Drive, that's the first area we're gonna to go to, drive.google.com. We're gonna click on New, we're gonna click on More, and we're gonna click on Google Forms. So let's create our communications request form. So let's go ahead and title our form. And let's go ahead and put in the information that we're gonna need from people when they're entering in their request to our communications team. So our first one will be the name of the task. All right, then we're going to, oops, there we go. Then we're going to want to find out who's the one filling this in. So we'll go ahead and put name of requester. All right. Then we're going to need to know the due date. And by the way, you can add whatever you'd like in terms of the on your communications reform. I'm just putting in some basic information that we'll need. And the last one we'll put in will be project details. All right, so that's your form, basic form, all set up, ready to roll, communications request form. Now there's two more things you need to do before you leave the form page on Google Docs. And that is you need to go to the responses link and you need to link this to a Google spreadsheet. And this is really important because this is what Zapier is gonna pull from. So we're gonna create a spreadsheet. So we're gonna create a brand new spreadsheet for this. We're gonna call it communication form. We're gonna hit create. And that's gonna create a Google spreadsheet. All right, so we've got our questions in. We've got a Google sheet that's linked to now we need to actually put in one set of test data for Zapier to pull from. So let's go here and let's hit preview. And that's gonna show us what our form is gonna look like. So let's go ahead and just put in a test project. My name and a due date and details. So as you can tell, it really, all we're doing here is just putting in some test data that Zapier is going to pull from. Then I hit submit and then bingo. It should be all in. If I come back to the communications request form, you can see that response has been logged in the system. All right, there you go. All right, so you set up your questions, you get a link to spreadsheet, and then you just put in some test responses. Also, before you leave, make sure that the form is named up here in the upper left. All right, so we've done all these things. So Google Docs side of things is ready to rock and roll. Now we want to go to an Asana and you're going to want to create a project which all of these tasks that people are asking you to do come into. So I've already done that. I created a project called Inbox. So I went over here to the create a project button 
and I created a project called Inbox. This is really important because you're gonna to wanna to have one project where all this stuff flows into, and then I'm gonna show you afterwards how to parse this stuff out. But you're gonna to wanna to have one central place where everything comes into so you can kind of divvy up the task accordingly. All right, so in Asana, all you gotta do is just create a project where you want everything to flow into. So we're gonna call it Inbox for right now. Now we're gonna to go to Zapier. All right, so you're gonna log into your Zapier account and you'll be greeted with a screen that looks something like this and you're gonna to wanna to hit the big red button called make a zap. So we hit that and then we're gonna to come to this screen right here. And what we're doing here is we're connecting Google Forms and Asana. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our Google Forms. So we'll hit Google and there it is, Google Sheets actually is what we're gonna be using. And we're going to select new spreadsheet row. So every time there's a new row added to the spreadsheet, which is our Google form, it's gonna trigger Zapier. We're gonna hit save and continue. I've already linked my account. You may have to do this if you haven't linked your account yet. It'll ask you to link your account. So I've already linked the account and we're gonna hit save and continue. All right, now it wants to know which spreadsheet should it be looking for. So I'm gonna, it's gonna knock on Google's door and guess what? The last one you created, which is the communication form, that's what pops up. You're gonna select that and it's gonna ask you which worksheet. And then we're just gonna do form responses. And that's like the little tabs down at the bottom that you normally see in like an Excel sheet. So there you go, communication form, form responses, and now we're gonna select continue. All right, so everything is looking good. Spreadsheet communication form, worksheet is form responses. So now we're gonna fetch and continue. It's looking for an existing row. All right, successful, because we put that dummy data in, it was able to find the dummy data. All right. Now, now we're going to select Asana, which is right here. You could type it in or it just happens to be the first one here for me. And I'm going to select create task, not project, not story or update, create task. Then I'm going to select save and continue. I'm going to hit, I've already connected my Asana account. I'm going to hit save and continue again. Now, it's gonna ask for your workspace or organization. If you've got multiple Asana accounts, this is where you gotta be really careful. For me, I have that set up. For, for most people, don't worry about this. You'll need to select, you'll select your name or your organization's name. So in this case, I'm gonna select Brentwood Baptist as soon as it pops up. And then select project. And this is why we create that inbox project. Inbox, bingo, boom. There it is right there. Okay, name. This is the name of the task. What do we want the name of the task to be? We want the name of the task to be our project name. So let's see here, there it is, name of project. We want our notes section to contain our project details. So we'll select that. And then we want our due date for our task to be the due date that they requested, which is right here called due date. All right, and you can do some a bunch of other little things right here, assignee, all this kind of stuff. You can get really fancy with Zapier. You play with, the more you play with it, the more you can find out some really creative things you can do to kind of automate some of your workflows. Now we're gonna hit the continue button. And this is where it's gonna test talking to the Google form and then talking to Asana. All right, so it's gonna create a new task, put it in the inbox project, name it test project for Zapier. These are the notes, what's gonna go in the notes section. This is what's gonna say it's due on. And we're gonna hit create and continue. So it's working on the background. Bingo, it says it's successful. So we're gonna hit finish. We're gonna test this. We're gonna call this communications form. We're gonna make sure it's turned on. And we're gonna go back to our dashboard. And now we're gonna check with Asana and make sure it came in. All right, I'm in my inbox project, I selected it. And there it is, test project for Zapier. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this project by just clicking on it. See, there's my details. There's the name of it. There's a due date. Now, if I wanna convert this into a project and move it over here, get it out of the inbox, or assign, yeah, I can either drag it and sign it to another project, or I can hit this little ellipsis for more actions. And guess what? We can convert it to a project. Convert to your project right there. Hit the convert button and bingo. Test project for Zapier. Bingo, so there it is. There's my automation workflow. I'm gonna fill out a Google form. 
Zapier is going to see that I filled out a Google form. It's going to turn around and create a task for me in Inbox. And then I can take the Inbox, I can turn around, move it to another project, or I can turn around and then uh, actually make it its own project. And I can get really detailed with all the information that I want preloaded in there. So there you go. That's how you build a communications form using Asana, Google Docs, and Zapier.